Hello friends, in today's video, we're going to talk about a research compound called Mementine. We're going to discuss how it affects our mental well-being, our mood, and what are its benefits, how does it work, and some of its uh, side effects. So let's start. So first, let me give you a brief description of what Mementine is. Mementine was first discovered in 1968, and it was initially researched as an anti-diabetic agent. But later it was discovered that it was ineffective in controlling blood sugar levels. Later, its effects on CNS, central nervous system, were studied, and researchers found that it works as a non-competitive antagonist at NMD receptor system. So what does that mean is that it blocks and inhibits the effect of neurotransmitters on NMD receptors, hence lowering and preventing or inhibiting the overstimulation of NMDA through these neurotransmitters. Alcohol works in a similar way as it also works as an antagonist of NMD receptor system but unlike alcohol, memantine does not exhibit any hangover-like effects. So you can think of it as a weak alcohol-like uh, compound that will have similar benefits of alcohol but without any downfalls or uh, negatives of alcohol. Currently, FDA has approved its uses as an anti-Alzheimer and anti-dementia drug. So now let's talk about how it all works. To simplify things, our body has two major systems. First is gabanergic system that promotes relaxation and calming effects and another is NMDA uh, system that is, promotes focus, simulation and cognition. And both of these systems are inversely proportional to each other. What that means is that if you reduce the acti activity of NMDA receptor system, GABAergic system becomes more dominant in your body and if you reduce the uh, activity of GABAergic system, NMDA receptor system becomes more dominant in your body. So what does that all mean? When we consume alcohol or any uh, NMDA antagonist for that matter, what it does is that it lowers the activity of NMDA system in our body, hence gabanergic system becomes more dominant in our brain, which gives us all the positive benefits that we see from alcohol or any other NMDA antagonist, such as relaxation, better mood, less aggression, uh, more confidence and increased social behavior. However, if you do too much of alcohol or any, any other NMDA antagonist for that matter, what you will notice is that you will feel dizzy, foggy, and you will have hard time focusing and even feel sleepiness. Unlike alcohol, Mementine has a very long half-life. So a single dose in the morning will cover you for the entire day. First, to, first eight to nine hours is the most stressful for most of the people. So Mementine, a single dose of Mementine in the morning can cover you for the entire day very easily. So what you can expect from Mementine is that you will get all the positive benefits of alcohol without any negatives. And it will cover you in a single dose for the entire day. Now let's talk about its dosing. Generally, for the science of depression and improving mood, a dose of 10 mg to 25 mg is generally given. From my personal experience, if you're just starting out, you should not take more than 5 mg uh, as, uh, and then wait for at least an hour to see how your body is reacting to it. Because some people are more uh, susceptible to NMD antagonist activities or they are more uh, sensitive to alcohol-like effects. So if alcohol hits you faster and harder than others, then you're likely very sensitive to NMD uh, antagonist uh, compounds such as Bementine and you should not start out at a very high dose. You should always start at a very low dose. So I have personally taken an upwards of 50 mg of Bementine to reverse the tolerance of stimulant. That's another uh, use of this compound, but we will cover that in another video. Let's talk about its side effect. When it comes to side effects, it's pretty similar to alcohol. Uh, if you take too much of it, you will feel dizzy, sleepy, you will have grogginess, but you won't have hangover-like effects. Uh, one thing to note here is that Mementine has a very long elimination half-life. Um, it is said to be 60 to 70 hours. Generally, you can only feel it for eight to nine hours. So if you take a very large dose of it, you, it will take you a long time before you feel start to feel normal again. So you do not want to, this is not a compound that you would want to overdose on because then you will stay in a state of uh, alcohol poisoning for a very long time. So that's why they say a dose of 10 to 25 milligrams is generally recommended for people to improve their mood and signs of depression. A side note here, guys, uh, if you do end up taking a very large dose of Mementine, what you can do is you can take uh, orange or lemon juice or any other juice that is very acidic in nature. What will this do is that it will make your body more acidic and this will in turn trigger your kidneys to filter blood and fluid at much faster rate. And this will help you get rid of the drug much faster. So that was all about Women Time guys. I hope you found this uh, video informative. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, please leave a comment for the sake of the algorithm. See you in the next video. Take care, bye.